So what is the decision. speed then that has informed the suspension of the DG of NIA? It's a running issue and it's a major issue. You know that that volume of money has never been seen anywhere in this country before. It's a matter that you can't let uh, uh, just run without a response. Uh, and remember that it was not even done immediately. It's, it's been in the public domain for uh, more than a week. And when it was time to do something about it, something was done. So we get the letter from the Senate to the President in December. It takes four months to act. And you say the President was taking his time. And this one, unless the, the, the two issues are incommensurate. You can't actually compare the two. Is the reason why people the have said, why then lump them together? Well, because it's time to set up an investigation team. And the investigation team can look at both issues. You can look at both issues. That's why it's done together now. Well, I, I don't know that a lot of people will agree with you because people are also questioning why it is that you know an investigative panel needs to be set up for this one. For some people, I, we had a guest on our program yesterday who said that what needs to be done is that both matters shouldn't have been lumped up together, that they don't understand what it is that you know the, the, this committee will be investigating again when there are agencies of government that have been empowered to do this investigation. Uh, you know, and, and that is one question. Why do we have to set up a special committee to look into matters or allegations of impropriety or of perhaps alleged fraud? Well, head or tail, you will never win with some Nigerians. They will always find fault. But then, government has been elected and government is in place to do certain things. And government will do what it believes to be right at any given time. Government believes that setting up an investigation at this time is right. And government has the mandate of the people. So, government is doing it. It will not satisfy everybody. Well, it does not matter. I want to take you to Lagos now because I'm sure that my colleagues will be bursting with their own questions. Uh, Mr. Fadishina, could, could you tell us, I mean, many wonder, what changed at this time? Because having written the Senate, clearing the SGF uh, over that matter that the Senate raised, why was it now necessary to set up that panel to investigate him and suspend him? Well, that word you used, I have had to correct it a number of times. Clearing is not the word. You said he wrote the Senate clearing the SGF. No, the text of that letter is in the public domain. Read it again. Is there any clearing in it? No. The president said due process was not followed. It's not the same thing as clearing. So the president didn't clear anybody. The president from the arguments from the senators that went back and forth was not in the mood to remove him at that time that's the way he came across and that didn't happen until now so what changed from then and now that he had to be suspended well just like you said removed removed is also not the word suspended is a better word because he is just asked to step aside to give an unfettered opportunity for investigation. The outcome of the investigation will determine what follows next. And it's very important that that investigation is done for the sake of even the people involved. Because if that investigation is not done and the issues are, 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 are not brought to a closure, it's like an albatross that hangs around their necks for life. So it's very important that the issues be investigated. Well, you, you still don't tell us why it took this long for the president to have taken that decision. But the, is this committee going to factor in the report of the Senate that talked about uh, the, the pine not being able to account for some 2.5 billion, several reports from the Senate which indicted the SGF? Well, um, the, the committee, three-man committee, vice president, national security advisor, attorney general of the federation, who is also the minister of justice, they are going to look at the, the gamut of all the issues so that they can come out 
with a conclusion that is fair, that is just, and that is right. But why didn't this matter uh, be referred? Why wasn't it referred to the AFCC and then in case of the NIA, the DSS? Why do we need a three-man panel in the first instance? It's a, it's a, it's a matter of uh, procedure by government. If government feels this is the way we want to go about it and it is lawful, then uh, nothing wrong with it. I believe there is nothing wrong in or with the government setting up a panel to investigate. You know, this matter coming up at this time and then the suspension of the SGF raises a lot of uh, uh, eyebrows to people and they are now asking, how deep is the corruption in the presidency? No, you don't, you don't need to single out the presidency. The question is how deep is the corruption in Nigeria? There's corruption everywhere, everywhere in the country. And don't forget that the vice president has said it before, that there is corruption everywhere, judiciary, executive, legislature. There's, there's corruption everywhere, possibly even in broadcasting. There's corruption everywhere in Nigeria. Including the presidency. Okay, Mr. Adishina, we'll, we'll take it. The, the vice president said it before, that there is corruption everywhere. All right, we'll, we'll be back in a moment and continue with you. Just hang on. Join us again.